Thank you, everybody, for joining us for another video. I'm here with Graham Tufnell. Hey, Graham, thanks for taking my call. Anytime, my friend. So, uh, yeah, I, I've told you this before. I don't think I'm the only learner you've heard this from, but defending against one no Trump, I just always find challenging just from the very beginning, choosing what to lead and then having to keep track of so many different suits and when to hold on to winners, when to try to set up another suit. I struggled with this one today, and I know you're uh, going into it blind, but wondering if you could share the thought process as we figure out how best to defend against one of Trump. Okay, okay. Before we start, yeah, I think you've said something quite... Um, um, uh, I'm sure everyone feels the same. When we think of one no Trump, lots of people are terrified of being declarer in one no Trump. For many people, it's their least favorite contract. And at the same time, many people are also terrified of defending one no Trump because it's their least contract to favorite contract to defend. It's just why, why is that? You, I mean, you think you think it'll be one or the other, but it's both. Nobody enjoys one no Trump. So what's going on there? <laughs> and I think it's really important to recognize that there's something about that contract yeah. which is different than other contracts. Mm. And I think it's important to get yourself into that, understand what you're getting into when you get into one that Trump, either as defender or declarer. Right. So right. if you think of a contract like seven no Trumps or what have you, if you're de if you're a declarer, then there's often going to be one problem. There might be a queen missing, or right. You know, you have to find the queen. So everything's going to be focused on that one problem. Right. And if you're defending, and maybe you're looking at the queen, you're trying to your whole right. focus is going to be not give the show away about that one queen. For right. Example. Right. But one of Trump's more like a game of, of um, ping pong. It's back and forth and back and forth, and you win the lead and you lose the lead. Right. It doesn't have to declare or defender. Mm. It's going to be about even. They're going to be about even. Right. All you you have thirteen problems instead yeah, of just one. Problems. Right. So mm. understanding, just understanding that, yep, it's not going to be. There's not going to be clear cut decisions. Mm. We're just going to be kind of relying on some general principles. And we're going to be trying really hard um, to build up a picture of the missing hands. Okay. If we do that, everything will solve itself. Graham, already that's so helpful. All right, let's see. Let's see if we can uh, put it to use. And um, yeah, so here we are. Uh, and and to be honest, I forget how the rest of it plays out. Um, so right, our our first our first. Choice is what to lead. Um, yeah. Look, anything could be right. There's lost. Anything could be right. We could say, well, I'm, they haven't bid a major, or they haven't tried to find a major, so we should lead a spade, uh -huh. or, or a hard, or whatever. Or we could say, let's try and find a safe lead. Gosh, we could lead a small diamond. Maybe a small diamond is the safest lead. Anything could mm. be right. Mm. So. Again, our first job isn't to, we're not going to stress about this mm. because we don't know. Mm. Now, suppose we decide, well, let's, we've decided to lead a spade. And maybe, yeah, so we've decided to lead a spade for right or wrong. Now we've got to decide which spade to lead. Mm -hmm. uh, the ace of spades. Now, in a no trump contract, when we lead top of a sequence, that's normally going to be um, three in a row, like ace king queen, or maybe mm -hmm. ace king jack. Yeah. We need a, a better sequence than just two. So, you know, maybe we should lead the three of spades. Maybe we should just lead the ace of spades anyway, take a look at the dummy, and then decide what to do. Mm -hmm. So, here we go. And not only do we not know which suit to lead, we don't even know which whether to lead the ace or the three, and any of those things could be right or wrong. 
once we've made our decision, then we'll say, then we'll know. Uh -huh. But it doesn't work like that. So we've just got to really accept the fact that we don't know we're going to do something that might work, it might not, but now's not the time to stress. Okay. So we don't stress. Let's remember that they're probably, that declare is probably stressing. Yeah. And we what? Find one, one good reason for something to try? Or, I mean, in this fog, how do we even take that first step? Yeah, so I'd be thinking, well, I'm not going to lead a heart. That's out. Right. Um, anything else? I could lead a small diamond. I could lead a small club. I, I could lead a small space. I don't know. I'd probably go for my strongest suit in this case. I mean, we could we could go safe and lead something else, but no one could say you're wrong. Okay. If you lead a, if you lead a spade, either the ace or the three, no nobody can actually say, no, that's wrong. Mm. So it's, it's fine. Do one of those. All right. Can we, I, I maybe I, I do this as a default. I, we don't have, you know, a, a sequence of three cards, but if we just play the ace, at least we'll get to see dummy and maybe we'll be able to pick up a few more clues. We're not yeah. setting up anything, but there's some there's perfectly good logic to that. So I don't nobody can tell you you're wrong. Someone might say, Oh, you're supposed to have three, but take a look someone at someone can, Graham. There's all I, on we're on YouTube. <laughs> there's always someone. Someone will, yeah. Someone will someone will be telling us, I'm sure. <laughs> We welcome it. We welcome it. Okay, let's see what happens. Mm. Now look at that diamond suit. Okay, great. Okay, good. So a couple of things we can be thinking about here. We don't know what to do in the spades. Um, now, we don't know if we were playing some signaling system with, mm. yeah, we don't, with North, we don't know what that is. So we're not going to, we don't know. But if we knew, we'd know whether to continue spades or switch to something else. So we're a little bit in the dark. Right. Um, one thing we do know is that that diamond suit is dangerous for us. And it's potentially good for declarer. Mm. But the good news for us is that there's no entries to the diamond suit. So if Declarer, when Declarer gets the lead, when Declarer plays diamonds, we're probably, we may well decide to duck the first two rounds of diamonds and win the third round of diamonds. Mm. And then Declarer yeah. won't have any entries back to the diamond suit. All the other suits are pretty weak. Um, so by ducking, right, by the third round of diamonds, that might be Declare's last chance to get to the, the other pretty diamonds in Dummy's hand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right. So okay. we're going to hold on to that ace for a bit. Um, yeah. So we, we, we now we've got to decide, are we going to switch? We're not going to play diamonds, definitely. Mm -hmm. We're not going to play jack of hearts or a heart. That would be crazy. So we mm -hmm. just have to decide if we're going to continue with the spades or are we going to switch to a club? So we're down to two choices. Yeah. And we don't, I don't know what's bidding. If, if you're an established partnership, then you would want to talk with your partner about what that four of speed bid uh, card showed. Right. Is that encouraging us to continue or is that suggesting we try something else? Uh huh. Now, I don't know. There's no great reason I can see to do anything without that signal. So, again, we've just got to guess. Mm -hmm. We can bang down the king. We can play a small club. We can play a small spade. If we – could we do a small club holding on to the king without risking sure. – I mean, I guess there's a risk of anything, but, you know, we'll, we'll see what partner has. Again, not leading a heart, not leading a diamond – I guess we, you know, we could plop down the king and and see what happens there. But it, I don't know. I like sitting on it. <laughs> okay. So again, nobody can tell you that's there's a logic to what you're doing. It okay. may or may not be the right logic, but you had a reason for switching to a club. 
Mm. It's fine. You got a reason? Well, but like uh, choose your own adventure books, you know, like no stress. Well, which do you want to do? Do you want to go in the cave or uh, do you want to wait outside until uh, you see if anyone else goes in? All right, let's oh, go to page, yes, um, page 62. No, I was thinking of Osmonds, Bajir. Thinking of what? The Osmonds. What, what are the, who are the Osmonds? The Osmond, you know, Donnie and everybody. Oh, the Osmond. <laughs> uh, I, I only, I, I don't think I could sing along to any of the songs, but I could probably recognize them. <laughs> you know the one, don't, don't leave me for fun. Leave oh, me gosh. for reason. Don't leave me for fun. Boy, let me be. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, hey, keep, keep going. It, it, it's so close. That's a great song. Awesome, <laughs> man. Uh, <laughs> All right, we got, we got distracted. All right, so. Uh, okay. Uh, club, club didn't turn out great, but it's probably not a disaster because we can now, we're pretty certain we know what's going on in the club suit. Uh huh. North played the 10, so East. So North doesn't have a higher club. Mm. Therefore, East must have started with Ace, Queen, Jack of clubs. Ace, Queen, Jack, which lets us know both about the club suit, but also where a lot of East strength is. Right. In fact, East must have the nine of clubs as well, because if North had the 10 and the nine, he would have played the nine. Mm. So we've led right into East suit, but it doesn't actually matter because we're still going to make that king later on. Okay. And now our plan here, let's duck the first two. Yep. No new info there, but... Yeah, we don't know how many north... Okay, good. So this is perfect. North had two and, and we had three. Now, if we were, again, sophisticated partnerships might have some sort of count signal here so we knew how many diamonds north had. We didn't have that. So now we win the Ace of Diamonds. And we know that um, East has got no more diamonds and, and so no entry to the North Hand. Mm. Now, we've got uh, some good information now because we know that East started with the Ace, Queen, Jack, Nine of clubs. So East started with at least four clubs. Yeah. And we also know that East started with um, three diamonds. Okay, so East, we can, what, what's, what have mm. East done? Um, three diamonds, four clubs, three spades and three hearts, or two spades and four hearts, or, or whatever. Mm -hmm. Now, why did North throw a heart away? Why did North throw a heart? Let's think about this. Mm. This is not Trump's. Now, if North had a long heart suit, it wouldn't make any sense for him to throw that away. That's a potential winner later on. Yeah. Hmm. So, so maybe North's hearts aren't that good. Maybe East has got East must have a few hearts, otherwise North wouldn't be throwing them away. Wouldn't it be great if East was short in spades and partner has something there? Right. Partner so, has to have strength somewhere. Yeah, and we're They're certainly not one to Trump. Yeah, we're not going to lead a club now because we know East has got the Ace Queen Nine. It's probably uh -huh. not any leading a heart now because North's throwing his hearts. He doesn't have much in hearts. Mm. Now, do we do we plop down our winner and try to send it over to Partner and see what Partner has, or since we're sitting on three, do we? roll the dice and throw it to partner and hope that partner can send it back? Uh, either could work, but um, there's a little bit of a worry that if East only has two spades, um, we we don't want to be let, letting East win the queen of spades. We know that East has got at least four clubs, maybe five. Right. Diamonds. So East is likely to be short on spades. So it would be a disaster if we let a small spade Round of the queen. Right. We'll lose our opportunity. Yeah. So shall we play the king and then we'll play another spade over to partner and see what happens? 
Sure. And again, nobody can tell us we were wrong because we did have a reason. Okay. Look at awesome. that. Okay, awesome. Now, you were lucky. Not lucky. Sorry, lucky is the wrong word. If, if it had been me, I mm. would have actually led a small spade. Wow. And the East would have won the first trick with the Queen of Spades. Ah, uh, the, the opening lead, you would have led a small spade. I would have led a small spade. Huh. Now, Again, it's not a question of right or wrong. I um, I don't wouldn't have feel upset about my small spade lead, but nor should you yeah. feel upset about your ace of spades lead. It's just mm. you've got to guess sometimes. Mm. Anyway, awesome. Let's just play the six just to be sure. Let's get that out of okay. the way just to make sure we don't um, lock up the suit or anything. That's great. Are you playing? Yeah, you want to say hi to Graham? Yeah. Hey, you can play some bridge. All right. I, I have to remember to play a card now. All right. Well, um, East tossed a club. Do we toss club? Is there any? I mean, I don't have much heart uh, hope for the hearts, but. Yeah, let's toss our clubs down. That jack of hearts might still be useful. Okay. Oh, now we're going to be a bit careful here. Queen of Hearts, no, we're okay. We're good. We're good. Awesome. Wow. Okay. Nice. We did well. We got 35%, which isn't a good score. But we didn't do anything terrible. In fact, you did better than I did because I would have led the wrong speed. Again, with this no trump stuff, there's so many variables that yeah. you can't get hung up on the score. I, Some... I wonder too about the score. The different, uh, the Ackle bidders would have gotten a different opening bid as well. And uh, so I, I'm unsure what they would have ended up in, but that might contribute. For sure. For for example, some Ackle players would have opened the East Hand one heart. For example. Right. Now, right. if East had opened one heart, we could have made a takeout double. Yeah. And then North would have been able to bid spades. So we could have got to a spade contract that way, which would have been great for mm, us. Mm, mm. Yeah. So we don't want to get hung up on the, we just don't want to get hung up about what happens in one no trump. Which for us learner, it's so hard not to without the in the reassurances coming from our teachers, more experienced players. But I think especially declaring uh, defending against one no Trump, especially if I see a you know 35% result, I'm gonna question myself because I'm already feeling so anxious and insecure about playing in either position on one no Trump. Yeah, you know, not this time, but in a coming video, if people yeah. are interested, I, I, let us know in the comments if you are interested. But I think it can be really enlightening and uh, comforting to look at some um, score sheets from really uh, strong matches like the World Pairs Championships or whatever, when you've got the top, whatever it is, 20, 30, 40 players in the world playing. Yeah. In fact, we could look at the winning score of the recent World Championship pairs event and you think, wow, they must be so good. They're getting good scores all the time. And nobody does. Huh. All the scores are up and down and all over the place. Mm. But, you know, we'll save it for another video if anybody's interested, but it's, it's, you know, it's fascinating to see just how much variance and there is even for the best players. Thank you, Graham. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Uh, so much to think about. Um, this was really helpful. Uh, yeah, and let's definitely earmark that. Uh, it would be really fun to see how yeah. some of the best players in the world deal with situations like this. Yeah, cool. Thank you, Graham. Thanks, all. See you all. Bye.